The fun is just about to start for the Wiregrass as we are less than 22 hours away from the official kickoff of the National Peanut Festival. Good evening, I'm Michael Rinker. This time tomorrow, the Wiregrass will be flooding the fairgrounds for opening night with the 85th year of the festival now less than a day away. WDHN's Robert Smith gives us a look at last minute preparations. National Peanut Festival volunteers and 100 paid workers are excited to see their culmination of planning for this year's festival come to fruition in less than 24 hours. On the final day before the week-long National Peanut Festival kicks off, ride operators are cleaning and testing rides, and National Peanut Festival staff are going through their punch list to make sure they are ready for opening day. We're just going through uh, today making sure all our signage is correct, making sure we got our gates up, uh, going through the security plan one more time. We have a meeting this afternoon and then we'll have another briefing in the morning. So it's, it's just little things that turn into big things, but it all, it all works out. The only thing that's not fully set up right now are some of the arts and craft vendors in the Alpha building, but all of the booths will be set up by noon on Friday. Ellison says this year the main setup they are focusing on are the new security measures to ensure safety for fairgoers. This year, a metal detector will be placed at each gate. Staff have tested the metal detectors and they do not expect problems on opening day, just a little patience. Fairgoers will also need to have clear bags and all bags will be checked. If you come in and say uh, you do have a diaper bag or, or or you're pulling a, a lot of people will bring these carts uh, to the festival to pull their kids and all in. We will be checking those just to make sure there's nothing under a blanket or anything like that. And, and just remember, that's not to uh, invade your privacy. That's just for us to make sure that everybody that attends the festival is uh, treated fairly and that everyone is safe. In addition, this year the fair has an updated list of prohibited items, such as weapons of any kind on the Peanut Festival Fairground. Ellison says he saw statistics that Alabama is one of the top states in the nation that is leading in guns per capita, 38.7 per 1,000 people, and one in five people in Alabama carry a gun. You say you want to keep somebody safe by bringing a gun. I say that if we did have an incident, the police would not even know who to target. And, and I don't want to put a policeman in the place of having to make that judgment call. Ellison says with the National Peanut Festival starting in less than 24 hours, it's a reminder to download the new National Peanut Festival app where you can find all of that information right in the palm of your hand. In Dothan, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.